What's up everybody, Mikkel Bird, Mactown TV, the dopest show in every dimension, and I got more crazy and upsetting news today. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I'm recording this on the fly because I don't really want to do all this post-editing stuff, it takes way longer if I do post-editing, and I want to give you guys the stories as they happen, literally as I discover them. So let's talk about this tragic situation that just happened. Um, Garrett Foster was murdered last night peacefully protesting at a Black Lives Matter protest in Austin, Texas with his fiance Whitney, who is a quadruple amputee because of serious medical negligence. She was thrown off her wheelchair and he was shot three times, say his name. Now, let me give you guys a little backstory as I look into uh, this thing because this guy here, um, Stance grounded and there's his twitter at underscore sj peace underscore he's the one who broke this story this thing just happened last night and uh he has more where he's saying uh brother garrett is someone who can learn so much uh we can learn so much from about love commitment compassion empathy chivalry he is perfection personified stands as a great example what it means to be a human being my heart hurts for whitney now let me go ahead and show you some of these pictures real quick. So here's the backstory for this because, you know, it's a beautiful couple. It's an interracial couple. Of course, y'all know how I am. Uh, I, I'm a white dude for the most part, 98% white, 2% Native American. But, you know, I'm a guy who prefers black women. I'm a guy who grew up surrounded by black women, educated by black women. So obviously I'm a guy who champions interracial relationships because, quite frankly, I feel like it's the only way to really kill racism is to just show everybody love. You know, love wins in all in any scenarios. And I'll show you a couple of pictures real quick. This is them. This is her in a wheelchair, as you can see. Uh, quadruple amputee. They were high school sweethearts. They've known each other since high school. They were together for years and years in Austin, Texas, if I'm not mistaken. This guy joined the military. He was in the military. He's a good guy. Um, let me show you some more pictures here. There's them. There's a more recent picture, right? This is probably what they looked like at the protest. And uh, that's them in bed. And um, he goes on a little further here to say, uh, yeah, together since they were teenagers, he adored her. He was there for her through everything, fought for her life, fought against the medical negligence, and loved her unconditionally after that. He would push her in her wheelchair at events and protests, protests and was a devoted caregiver. And uh, let me get some more pictures there. Beautiful couple, beautiful interracial couple. And um, they were together for a long time. You know, this is a tragic situation, but let me go ahead and give you some details about this because people are kind of going crazy in the comments. It's got tons of likes, tons of retweets, and then tons of douchebags who were coming in later and trying to say, oh, he deserved it and all this shit. Now, let me give you some of the details about what happened. They went to this black, him, you know, this guy and his girlfriend. They went to this Black Lives Matter protest in Austin, Texas, and Garrett, who was an ex-military member, he brought an AK-47 with him. Now, at some point during the night, apparently someone in a car who also had a gun literally tried to damn near run over the protesters. Like, they didn't care. Now, for those that don't know, if you're a pedestrian, which means you were on foot, then driver laws are very clear about this, that a pedestrian always has the right-of-way. And yet some douchebag, some racist cocksucker, some anti-protester comes along in a car, damn near tries to run over people, trying to plow his car through people, and the person in the car had a gun too. Now, although Garrett Foster had an AK-47 on him, Based on everything I've read, um, at no point did he actually use the gun. See, that was the big thing people were worried about. Is like, why did he? People were saying in the comments. I read them. They were saying, uh, why? You know, why did this guy Garrett Foster come to this protest with an AK-47 on him? But the thing is, he never actually used it. You know what I mean? He never actually used it. And yet, this person in the car who was trying to, I guess, the person damn near hit Whitney. The uh, the black chick, he he hit Whitney while he's in a his, in, a, in a wheelchair and shit like that, right? And um, then the person in the car apparently pulled out their gun and fired at Garrett. Now I don't know if Garrett had pointed his AK-47 at the person in the car or not. I don't know what really happened. I wasn't there. But the fact of the matter is, the person in the car had a gun, and the person in the car pulled their gun out and shot Garrett, and now Garrett is dead. 
And um, now that he's dead, they've already started this fundraiser on GoFundMe, official Garrett Foster Memorial Fund, created by Patricia Curvin, right there. Created. It says, uh, Garrett Foster was murdered last night, July 25th, while attending a peaceful protest in Austin, Texas, with his disabled fiance in a wheelchair. An unknown vehicle barreled into the crowd, and this evil person shot and killed Garrett while he was trying to protect his fiance. A great person was taken away from his fiance, his mother, father, siblings, and a host of loving family members. He fought against injustice, served in the military, and was fiercely protective of his fiance. They fell in love at 17 and were never apart. This fun is a established to cover funeral, burial, and other expenses in the days to come. We appreciate all the love, support, and compassion during this emotional time. So yeah, this is a very tragic story. I don't know if this is going to hit the news or not. It's a very crazy story. You know, people, I think it's interesting that, and we'll go back to Twitter real quick. I think it's interesting that people are defending somebody in a car. I'm like, apparently these people don't know driver laws these people don't know the rules of right away which is when we're talking about pedestrians and you're in a car a pedestrian always has the right of way in every scenario it doesn't matter if they're a protester or not it doesn't matter if they're blocking traffic or not they are a pedestrian they are a human being on foot and you are a human being in a 2000 3000 10000 pound vehicle incredibly deadly you could kill them with their car immediately so that's why pedestrians always have the right of way like i said doesn't matter if you're a protester doesn't matter if you're blocking traffic you're a pedestrian you have the right of way and yet people tried to defend them so very tragic story rest in peace garrett foster my heart goes out to whitney uh i don't know what her last name is i don't know if they were married or not her name might be whitney foster i'm not sure but uh rest in peace garrett foster uh, my heart is with you, man. Uh, rest in heaven, and I hope things, you know, you know, peace and blessings to Whitney too, because she's already had a life, a hard life as is, being in a wheelchair, being a quadruple amputee, and this guy truly loved his woman. I can say that this man, def- despite all the odds, despite everything people say about interracial relationships and the relationship between a white man and a black woman, or a white woman and a black man, despite all the negativity that surrounds us in this world, let's be perfectly clear, people. The United States of America is the most racist country in the world at present in 2020. You know, we're on par with 1940s Nazi Germany. We're, you know, we might not be there just yet, but we're not that far from it. You know what I mean? So that's that, people. Mikkel Bird, MacTown TV, the dopest show in every dimension. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to drop a comment. That means more than anything. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, okay? YouTube.com slash MacTown TV. And follow me all over the web, at Mikkel Bird, M-A-K-E-L-L-B-I-R-D, all over the web. And uh, YouTube.com slash MacTownTV, M-A-K-T-O-W-N-T-V. And I'm out. Peace!